E-cigarette or e-pen use among students has been a growing issue, but one Michigan school is getting criticism for their recent handling of the problem. Throughout the school year, Hillman High School staff, including Principal Jason McElrath, have been dealing with the growing problem of e-pens. The cigarette replacement is odorless, vaporless, and does contain nicotine, but is difficult to detect. During lunchtime, a lot of students have been going into the bathrooms and would do them during the bathrooms. So over the course of the last couple of months, we've had um, reports of students, like four or five students, going into a stall. Two attendants currently supervise in the cafeteria and teachers periodically check in the bathrooms, but the problem has continued. Yesterday, again, they, my maintenance supervisor went in there, um, saw him in there and stuff, tried to get a hold of me, but I was in a meeting and was frustrated by the situation and at that time took the doors off, hoping that if the doors were off, then those, they wouldn't feel like they could get, go in there and hide. Students were upset all had to face the punishment to an issue that isn't likely to be solved soon. Students do it a lot, but if they take their spot, they're just going to do it in other places. And that removing the doors was a violation of privacy. Especially in the digital age with apps like Snapchat where someone can take a picture and send it to everyone and their grandma or videos. And you have no evidence if they don't send it to you, so you don't even know. The stall doors have returned, but now staff members are back to the drawing board on how to address the problem of e-cigarettes. We may have to look at, down the road, maybe hiring uh, another male lunchtime supervisor. That could be somebody that could go in there and, and help supervise that. A bill is underway to ban the sale of e-cigarettes to minors and treat them like any other tobacco product. But for now, it's easy for kids to pick them up and a headache for schools to regulate.